What is today? My favorite day. Story time Sunday. Jimothy! Jimothy! Subscribe to Jimothy. Yo! Yo! And a great big yo! Here's the deal, y'all. The world is crazy right now, and there's a lot of tension going on. Everything from different countries in the midst of trade wars, political parties and their differences, classism, the climate, etc. You name it. But there is one person who can create complete and total world peace in every sense of the phrase. That's right, y'all. You've seen the title. My boy, Bill Nye, the mother science guy. Now, for those of you who didn't have a proper childhood, let me introduce you to this man right here. Bill Nye is known for having the coldest bow tie collection in existence, having a barber with hands the likes of Phidias, Mybrone, and Polyclitus combined. Look at this nigga hairline, y'all. Exquisite! He the same nigga with over six honorary doctorate degrees from the likes of Johns Hopkins and Rutgers University, just to name a few, as well as a recipient of over 30 consecutive inward passes. But, most importantly, and how you probably know him, Bill attained the majority of his fame and popularity through his hit TV show that you somehow never seen on cable, but watched damn near every episode, Bill Nye the Science Guy. You can tell that boy Bill was destined for greatness too. Name one nigga that got a show named after himself whose name didn't become stained in the hearts of millions of people across the planet, and as far as we know, the universe as well. Huh? What was that? What were you gonna say? Will Smith, Bernie Mac, Chris Rock, Drake and Josh? That's right! You can't name not even one! Oh, wait, that's funny. The show name is Jimothy. My name's Jimothy. Weird. Anywho, with that being said, Bill Nye. Bill Nye, knock him out cold in the first round, nice it. William Henai Ford. Bill Bob, square Nye. Bill, Mr. Stay a Girl, Nye. Bill Henai, thing is possible, could do the single most important thing that humanity and the planet could ever receive for the rest of our conscious existence. Bill Nye could create world peace. Now, how could a 63 year old mechanical engineer turned scientist achieve such a goal? Simple. Do you remember the sheer power Bill Nye had in the classroom back in K through 12? It didn't matter what grade your ass was in. Niggas would sit down, shut up, and for approximately 30 minutes, every teacher that dared to press play on that VHS, DVD player, or that Netflix slash Hulu account they still got the password from their ex-mans. <sighs> Pure bliss was achieved. Craig wasn't in the back of the classroom talking that shit, making jokes as the peer chosen class clown, as self proclaimed real ass nigga. Nah, 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 nah. The sound of nimble fingers tapping across the bottom third of Apple iPhones is barely audible under the baritone voice of our school time hero, Bill Nye the Science Guy, as his voice bellows throughout the decorated walls of the classroom. Splendid. That annoying girl that shows up to class with a bag of flaming hot Cheetos who says period with a T and got more attitude than a stadium of toddlers hitting their terrible twos ain't mumbled a single word in what feels like an eternity. Yes. And every single high school athlete that show up late at least twice a week shouting "Hey!" while they walk it in just to interrupt the spongy brains of curious minds longing for the answers to questions such as the square root of pi, what did the author Great Gatsby mean in the third passage of chapter 7, and, and what time is lunch? Just to collect their three and a half clout tokens for the day. All showed up on time attentive and ready to soak up that knowledge from my boy, Mr. Bill Nye himself. Perfect. Bill Nye really did that, y'all. And he's been saving substitute teachers' careers without a fail for the past 26 years. Now, to be honest, I can't give all the credit to Bill Nye. No, 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 no. According to my synopsis over the past few years from the findings of statisticians, researchers, and chemical theorists, Bill Nye deserves approximately 87.23% of the credit for calming kids down like a dark-skinned named Jeff in his 30s who just copped himself a pack of new forts after he'd been low for the last couple of days. No, no, no. The other 12.77% of credit goes to our friend, the infamous Wheeled TV Cart. That's right. Over the past two and a half decades, Bill Nye and the Will TV cart have been developing a symbiotic relationship so strong you think Bill is a talking TV cart himself. Like a classically conditioned Pavlovian dog, the moment a nigga hear that spine chilling squeak that ricochets off the plastic wheels as they roll across Crayola stained floor tiles, each and every snot nosed kid in that classroom gets hyped than a motherfucker. And then, pin drop silence. 
Like their favorite sports team got .9 seconds left on the clock and they one play away from taking home that W word to the Raptors in six. I don't know how they do it, but on a scale unbeknownst to the world, they have single-handedly created peace, quiet, unity, and enjoyment onto millions, if not billions of children across the world. Well, as my beloved viewers, you're probably sitting there wondering, who the f*** cares? How this now Bill who been rocking the same V-Lone off-flight Nike collab lab coach since the 90s gonna change the world? How this nigga who built like a bottle of Voss water, a tan-colored dill pickle, a nigga named Groot, and like one half of a white chocolate Twix bar gonna save the world from itself? Easy. We're gonna equip every active military member, police officer, teacher, security guard, gang affiliate, savage nigga named Jamal, hall monitor, lifeguard, divorce attorney, sandwich artist from Subway, priest, that nigga Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents, McDonald's ice cream machines, bank tellers, janitors, dairy cows, and that bitch ass nigga named Cupid who kept me single for the past nine months. <gasps> With a wheeled TV cart containing two copies of every season of Bill Nye the Science Guy on VHS. I don't think y'all understand what I'm talking about here. Watch this, y'all. You can look however you want to look. <laughs> don't tempt the Virgo, my nigga. She said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she Bill Nye. She said. Bill Nye. Nigga, what you saying? Bill, 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 Nye! What you saying? Bill the motherfucking science guy is a true definition of world peace and we need to protect this man at all cost. There isn't one motherfucker in the world who could even stop him or could even diminish this man's excellence. And I'd love to see the nigga who even had the balls to try him. <gasps> with that, I'd like to conclude today's episode. Now if you like this video, feel free to hit us with a thumbs up and a subscribe. I love you. See you next week. Don't melt, because a milkshake can wait. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. It's shout-out time. Welcome to the cream pack, new and old. Now, if you want to make it into next week's episode, all you got to do is comment down below or tell some friends about us. It really helps us to grow. Also, details for the monthly giveaway in the description section, y'all. All right, cream pack. Shouts out to Mark Prosper, Robert Brown, Jacob Needs to Wake Up, Hoser, though, KMCM, Justin Y, Daniel Tiberis, E.H., Z.Z. Oof Y.T., J.D.C. Animate Slash Stories, Tony Van Ginkle, The Pizza Man, DeBrito Man, and L.K. I love you, and see you next week. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill. Copy by myself, keep it black, like skin, no heart, more red, like pen, so red. Writing off my sins, not the same mistakes again. And I can never lose if I put love up in my head. Ooh, I win, ooh, I win. Caught more love from my kid. Don't need a stranger to tell me this or that. I'm this, not that. Come and keep it black.